Hello my friends and welcome to another exciting episode of Tech Tuesday. For those of you who may not know me, my name is Joshua Haynes and every Tuesday I talk about technology to make your life a lot simpler. So I have to be honest, I've noticed that many of us buy these great iPhones and don't use it to its full advantage. So today we're talking about iPhone settings and features. Without further ado, let's get into it. So before I start, as a disclaimer, since iOS 13 works all the way back to iPhone 6S, many of these tips will work on your old iPhones too. So even if you don't have the newest iPhone 11 Pro Max, you can still take advantage of almost everything in this guide. So tip number one, did you know that you can fight spam by automatically sending unknown numbers right to voicemail? And a lot of people did not know that. But yes, you can send unknown callers to voicemail. To do this, all you have to do is make sure first you have the important number saved, such as uh, important places, like your doctor's office or child's school saved. Um, just save it to your contact address book on your phone so that you don't miss them if they do call. But after you save the important numbers, open settings on your iPhone first. Next, tap phone and scroll down to silence unknown callers. Once you're there, all you have to do is toggle the button to on. And there you go, you have it. So tip number two, Siri can also finally control third-party music apps. That means you can ask her to play your favorite songs and she'll play right from other services such as Spotify instead of just playing through Apple Music. This is actually a big thing. Um, to use Spotify, all you would have to do is make sure you have the latest version of Spotify installed, initiate the Siri by saying, hey Siri, and ask Siri to play music on Spotify with a command such as Siri, Play Jay-Z on Spotify. Siri will ask you first for the first time if it can access your Spotify data on your phone. All you have to do is say yes, and you're good to go. Now, each time you ask Siri to play a song, artist, or album, just make sure you say on Spotify at the end of your request, and she'll know to play directly from Spotify. Tip number three. Apple has a setting that enables you to make sure your iPhone's battery lasts as long as possible. Um, this is actually a great feature. It saves your battery tremendously um, so you're not overcharging your phone all the time. Um, the setting is called Optimized Battery Charging and it's used to reduce battery aging. How this works, iPhone learns from your daily charging routine so that it can wait to finish charging past 80% until you absolutely need to do this. Now to do this, all you have to do is open your settings on your iPhone, choose Battery, tap Battery Health, and then toggle the optimized battery charging to the on position. And just like that, you're good to go. And finally, for tip number four, Apple added support for Xbox and PS4 Bluetooth controllers to iPhones. That means you can use your controller you might already have at home to play games on your iPhone or iPad without having any need for plugging in wires or buying a special controller. Here's how to set it up. Put your Xbox controller into pairing mode by turning it on and holding the pairing button on the back until the front light begins flashing quickly. Or put your PS4 remote into pairing mode by holding the PlayStation button and the share button for about three seconds. Open the settings on your iPhone, choose Bluetooth and turn it on. Select your controller from the list of Bluetooth devices ready for pairing. Wait until it says controller connected and launch a game with controller support. Many are listed here in the description below um, so that you can have ease of access to know which games are supported and which aren't on Apple Arcade. Pretty neat feature, great for traveling as well. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope these iPhone tips give you some more options to fully take advantage of your phone. As always, thanks so much for watching, and feel free to let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, and feel free to also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks again, and see you next week.